Okay, now I want you to watch right off this side of my body, you're gonna see a D loop form. Watch as I come around, you see that loop right there? Yep. That's called the D loop. And what I ideally wanna do is I wanna make that D loop. Make your setup, stop, sweep that line out from in front of you, form a D loop, and then make a forward stroke. Okay. Okay, what I wanna do is get that D loop to hover right here. Okay. Now, what that D loop is, John, is this is, let me just bring this in to show you. The D loop comes behind the rod. It makes like a D like that. Yep. This is exactly like a pulling back on a drawstring of a bow and arrow. This is your bow, and that's how you form energy. If you have a wimpy D loop, if you don't have a D loop, you get some line out. If you have just like a little tiny D loop, yeah. you don't have any energy in your rod. You want a nice big D loop, and that's what we're trying to form when we spay okay. test. Okay, so what's our first step? You lift, take the scotch tape off the table. That's right, and then make a circle out in front of you. Good job. Now your rod should end up pointed all the way back downstream. Oh, okay. Downstream. Now you're going to go around your sombrero and forward stroke. All right, little wimpy on the forward stroke. <laughs> Remember, you're trying to launch that line out there. Right. So okay. It's there's a real lever action with your bottom hand. Now let's see if we can do this. So lift, lift, lift. Yep. Circle. circle. Stop all the way down river. Remember, ear to ear around your sombrero. There we go. Now sweep it. There we get. Yeah, that's your first Woo! cast. Good job. <laughs> How close was that to us? Not, no, you weren't. You didn't all hit right. us at all. All right. So here we go. Up, up, up. Circle. Stop. Good. Now sweep around and pause. There we go. See how that one turned over. Yeah. See the fly turned over. That totally. was good. That and was no, a lot this better. This is where you would let it This drift. is now when we're fishing and we'll be fishing soon because we're going to just jump right into this before the light gets too strong right. out here. We would actually make maybe a little mend there and we'd let that swing around. Okay. okay? Now sweep around and hit it. See, you're a natural. This is perfect. Awesome. You're going to be fishing so in no cool. time. When we fish a run, and this is a run from here down to where those rapids are, we work down the run step by step. So I make a cast, it swings all the way around, and before I make my next cast, I take two steps, meaning I take one, two. Now, if that takes you five steps, I still want you to make five steps, but I want you to move about four to five feet between each cast. Okay. If you think about this run as a giant chessboard or checkerboard, we want our fly to swing through every square. Sure. So we want to make the same length cast every time, and we want to cover it really methodically. Okay, so make a cast. Circle. If you remember this. Circle, good. Sweep around and fire. Good, now let's not mend it and let's see how it does. Just fish with your tip down and just kind of line up the line just like that. Good. And follow the line. Tip down. Super relaxed. Super relaxed. So it's important to let it swing all the way around, not to be in a hurry. We right. want to fish each cast completely. Now we can take two steps down. This is where we just step really carefully. This is slippery here. Okay. And there you go. And now you're ready to cast again. And this is the rhythm of steelhead fishing. Circle, perfect. Sweep and fire. Beautiful. That was your that best one cast really yet. Good. That was your best I'm not cast gonna yet. Lie. That one felt really, okay, okay. Right. Fish. There's, there's fish. We have to there's concentrate. Fish. Yeah, we're That's actually great. we're fishing now. You have to keep me on a shore. I have. Right? I do. So you see how beautiful that's coming around? Yeah. You want that slight J in the line. Just, so no, no, no just, oh, sorry. just follow it. But okay. you, want, you want it to bend slightly towards center river because okay. that means it's coming across beautifully. And we just let it come around. Now, any kind of disturbance on the water down here, for example, there's a rock. Right. You can see it boiling. Well, it's, yeah, it's right? around. And as we get to that rock, your heart should be doom, 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 doom beating a little faster because there could be a fish in front of that rock. There could be a fish in front of that okay. one. There could be one out here. We just don't know. You're getting this. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Isn't it fun? I didn't really fish growing up, but the actual experience and being truly surrounded by all the nature and then the artistry of having to get that motion down was amazing. It was beyond, I, I easily could have done it all day. Cheers. All right.